and once again welcome to my OIT channel. Today I came with an uh, important information regarding OIT speaking. So many students they have concern about known case explanation in speaking module. There are a lot of uh, known case scenario in uh, some case not I mean the role play cards you can see that the child is present uh, I mean the child is not present during the discussion. In some you can see that they didn't give anything so that means you are uh, doing the presentation or doing the uh, role play with the patient. So sometimes they have give, they used to give that uh, you have just examined uh, the patient but the scenario is happen, happening in rehabilitation center or nursing home even in um, aged care facility. So in that scenario how we have to present in some other conditions maybe it can come under home visit and um, they may give like this uh, you have just um, assessed the patient now we are going to talk with uh, the patient's spouse. So some something it's uh, like uh, uh, give you more confusion how to start the introduction. So you know that if there is um, uh, if they have given uh, you have just examined means that is of course known case and no need for self introduction. But there are some scenario where you have to introduce yourself and you have to start the conversation as like normal way. But they used to give that you have just finished your clinical observation or you have just um, completed the assessment or something like that. Anyway, we will have the conclusion for all these um, questions and concerns. I will explain you in detail with the uh, role play cards. So the first role play you can see that it's happened in 24 hour clinic. This is the local clinic. The scenario between clinic, hospital, home and uh, aged care facility or nursing homes are totally different. First you have to think about the setting. Okay, so this is the clinic. You see a parent who has brought his or her four-year-old daughter to the clinic because a rash has appeared on her arms and legs after playing at the park. You have just examined the child. So you mean um, this is non-case and suspect urticaria also known as nettle rash or hives. The child is not present for the discussion. So you have to make... Um, a clear introduction in this scenario because they have given that the child is not present for the discussion but you have just examined the baby so how we can start so this scenario is happening outside the patient room or in the nursing station or in the corridor so patient's identification is very much important so here what you have to do you have to ask baby's name during three minute preparation time example baby's name is maria so how we can start you can see the first task find out more details about the rush so you can start like this you can start with your uh, self introduction good morning um uh, my name is uh, uh, rishmi rajan i am the um, just nurse for your baby and um, uh, if i am if i am not wrong uh, is it uh, maria's father like that we can start then now uh, from father's side dear sister i am maria's father and uh, what about your my baby's condition then we can um, start like this um, uh, before proceeding further may I ask you may I ask your name or how may I address you then you can continue the conversation like mr matthews i can really uh, understand your concern about your baby but no need to worry before proceeding uh, may I ask you some question regarding your baby's rash then you can continue with the first task so this is a scenario if the baby is not present for the discussion then the next task is a hospital rehabilitation unit so take care hospital rehabilitation unit or aged care facility or nursing home here visitors um, are the one will be the interlocutor because uh, relatives will not stay with the patient in these scenarios and they will come to visit the patient and maybe during the visit or before um, uh, the visit maybe they will come to you and they will ask you sometimes after the visit they will come and inquire about their parents so here you can see your patient is a 75 year old woman who has been admitting admitted to the ward following a stroke her speech and memory are impaired and she has limited mobility you have just completed clinical observation clinical observation means vital sign monitoring her son or daughter ask you for advice about his or her visit his or her mother is not present here also you can see that patient is not present that means you are talking in corridor or in the nursing station or outside the room so here also it is important you have to ask uh, in detail regarding patient uh, during the conversation 
the in this scenario you can start like unknown scenario it is not a known case you can start as unknown you can just start like this good morning my name is reshmi rajan one of the registered nurses working in this hospital rehabilitation unit how may i address you and how can i help you today this is the quite normal way then they will tell you that uh, good morning sister my name is matthews and actually I came here to see my mother then the confirmation is important you can ask um, well mr matthews for confirmation purpose may i know your mother's name then the conversation will continue as per the uh, the task so rehabilitation unit and nursing home and even um, rehab aged care facility the scenario will be same but you have to see that mother is present or no if that uh, particular sentence is not given means this complete um, role play will comes under uh, like a non scenario because you are with the patient and the relative also with you so the uh, the conversation will be in different manner same like a non scenario okay then Uh, in that case, how we can start? Example, they have given everything except his or her mother is not present because you are clocking inside the room only. The first task is find out reason to request to see you. So here, actually, um, uh, the first task itself it is clear that it is the unknown case because you are you don't know the uh, relative and you are asking them how may I address you and how can I help you today. Example, the first task is not there and uh, the first task is give information about. patient's condition means this is non scenario so you will start like this uh, well uh, so the 3 minute 3 uh, minute preparation time you have to ask uh, about uh, patient's relative name and patient's name also then we can start like this well mr matthews uh, from my clinical observation i can tell you that uh, she is in first stage of recovery and her vital signs are satisfactory like that like that you can continue so the um, the first paragraph is very much important to confirm whether it is known case or unknown case and how will be the introduction then we will move to the another one scenario and here they have given it is a patient's home you are making a home visit to a patient who is suffering from chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and requires continuous oxygen mobility is now a problem the patient's spouse has been caring for him or her at home for 2 years but has recently returned to work you have just completed an assessment of the client patient's needs and are discussing full time care option with his or her carer the first task is find out how the spouse has been managing since your last visit so this is a peculiar known case and um, you are talking with the patient along with the patient but to the spouse and uh, here you have just examined uh, the patient so here no need for any self introduction you can just start but you have to ask uh, the spouse name and patient name during 3 minute preparation time example you are talking to maria and you can start like this well miss maria thank you for allowing me to examine your spouse's uh, needs and from uh, my assessment um, i can tell you that he requires uh, full time care but before proceeding further may i ask you some questions So like that we can start the conversation. Then another one scenario. It is community health center. You see a 66 year old patient who is concerned about the varicose veins on his or her left leg, which have become itchy, increasingly itchy. He or she would like some advice. You have just examined his or her leg. So this is peculiar known case. You are talking to the patient only. So nothing is there to be. um uh, concern more you can just start you can just ask the patient name during 3 minute preparation time example you are talking to john you can just start the first task is confirmation so um, well uh, mr john thank you for allowing me to examine your leg from my observation i can tell you that you have inflammation of varicose vein so like this it will continue and the next task is hospital ward You see the parent of a seven years old girl who has just had her adenoids removed and is due for discharge. You see the parent to discuss his or her daughter's discharge and to answer the patient's parents' question. His or her daughter is not present. Here also you have to take care. Patient is not present. Daughter is not present. So you your talk is going on in corridor or in nursing station or somewhere else. So the confirmation of patient's name is mandatory, and. Um, you can just start like this good morning the first task is confirm the daughter's readiness for discharge that means you are going to the parent and you are discussing you see you see the parent to discuss so confirm the daughter's sorry readiness for discharge post operative recovery is satisfactory and find out if the parent has any concern so you are the one approaching the parent so how we can start good morning my name is reshmi rajan one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward if i am not wrong is it so what you have to do in 3 minute preparation time you have to ask daughter's name 
example baby's name is rose you can start if i'm not wrong is it rose's father then you can continue the conversation okay mr matthews um, uh, and then you have to ask patient uh, really i mean the father's name also uh, that means uh, before proceeding further may i ask you your name or um, how may i address you then if it is william smith we can continue or oh, will uh, well mr williams actually i came here to discuss you regarding the discharge process of your baby is it the right time to talk with you like that we can continue the conversation and uh, the next one is the local clinic you are seeing a 46 year old patient who had surgery for appendicitis a week ago in activity and a past medical history has put him or her at risk of blood clots so he or she needs heparin injection the, these were started in hospital and have been self-administered since the patient was discharged four days ago. He or she is concerned about bruising at the injection site. You have just examined the patient. So in this scenario also, uh, there is nothing to be uh, think more. You can just uh, ask patient's name during treatment preparation time. Example, John. You can just start uh, like this to find out more details about bruising. So you can start like this. Well, Mr. Um, uh, example, John means well, Mr. John. Thank you for allowing me to examine your affected part. Um, before proceeding further, may I ask you some questions regarding your bruising? So like that, the conversation will go. And the last uh, task is community health center. You see the parent of a two-year-old girl who is going to have surgery next week to insert grommets in both ears. The parents has received a letter regarding the surgery date and pre-admission instructions. He or she has some concern about the fasting requirements, but the child is not present. So this is the community health center. Child is not present and you are not um um and uh, uh, you are not um, examining the uh, baby but they have given that child is not present so why i added this point means you will get confusion how to start because child is not present whether we have to ask the baby's name like that in this type of question paper actually no need for asking baby's name you can just start like a normal uh, unknown scenario like good morning my name is Rishmi rajan i'm one of the registered nurses working at this community health center how may i address you and how can i help you then the parent will uh, tell the concern and the, uh, the thing will goes on because this is a community health center and the baby is going to uh, trigger the surgery in uh, the, some other hospitals so no, no, no need for confirmation of uh, anything here so you can just um, just continue with the conversation as per the task so i hope this video will be helpful for you especially those who are nearing your exam uh, see the settings and the content what they have given in the first paragraph Confirm whether it is known case or unknown case. Confirm whether you have to ask patient's name and parent's name. Then confirm how to start the conversation. So if you practice in this way, it will be very easy for you. And another one more thing, you have only three minutes preparation time. Don't waste time to think about these things and all. Just a quick, make it quick decision how to start. And you can just write. Um, you can just write nearby the first task how to start the conversation so you will not get the starting trouble and um, once during three minutes preparation time uh, if you ask parents name and baby's name write it down in the uh, question paper you can write the parent name in large letters and baby's name in small letter because you are going to talk with the uh, parent and in case the parent is the patient and you are talking to the daughter or son their name you can write it like a, a somewhat bigger size and the patient name you can write it like a smaller uh, size so it will be easy for you to uh, go through the conversation because during the conversation if you have gender changes or pay name changes you will skip your b score at the same time conclusion conclusion also you can just write it like a not uh, like a small knot at the end of the task so it will be easy for you to conclude in very easy way so i hope um, you got some uh, points from this um, uh, video and uh, make sure everything is clear in your mind and practice well thank you for your um, time and we will see you with another one informative video until then bye take care